Today, we'll be installing AudioCraft, which will let us generate music and sound effects. I have created this batch file, which contains all of the commands needed to install it. I will link to this file in the description. You can download it somewhere and modify the file path on the first line to where you would like to install AudioCraft. I also included echo I statements so that it automatically enters Y whenever we are prompted for a yes or no to proceed. I'm going to copy the path to where I have this batch file and open a new anaconda prompt and change to that path. Now I can just type install and hit enter. You don't need to include the .bat after install. This will go through that batch file and execute all of the commands one after the other. Alternatively, you can also enter those commands manually one by one in case you encounter any issue on your machine with any of the commands so that it will be easier to troubleshoot where the issue is. Once that finishes, go to the directory where it is installed and go into the Demos folder. We will run this Python file to launch the app. I will copy it. Run it in the Anaconda prompt with Python space Demos slash and paste the file name and hit Enter. You might see this error about Triton. You can ignore that message. Eventually it will give us the URL. Copy-paste this to a web browser. And this is the Music Generator web UI. Let's test it out by entering a prompt and then clicking Submit. You can experiment with different options on this page like different models, duration and so forth. Next, let's test out the sound effect generator. Let's go back to the Anaconda prompt and press Ctrl and C at the same time to terminate the running application. Then type Jupyter Lab, separate words, Jupyter with a Y, and hit Enter. This will automatically launch a browser window. This is the AudioGen notebook. We can execute each block of code piece by piece. The brackets to the left of the code block indicates the status. If it is empty, then that code block has not been run. If it has an asterisk, then it is currently running. If it has a number, then it is finished running. To run the code block, click anywhere in the code block and hold down control and hit enter. I've already done that for this code block and it is currently running and the status in the brackets is an asterisk indicating it is running. Now the asterisk changed to the number 1, indicating it is finished. Let's click into the next code block and press Ctrl and enter to execute that one. And now do the same for the next one. In this code block, we can modify the text that is being used and generate different sound effects. This one uses a synthetic signal to prompt the audio, according to the comments. I have no idea what that means, but in the generated audio, it does have some sort of starting signal sound before the sound effect plays. I'm going to leave this prompt as it is for this test. In the next one, it loads audio from a file, it looks like. In this last one, we also can modify the prompt. For now, I will leave it as is, for this test. This one does not have that synthetic signal at the starting. And now we have reached the end of this notebook. You can click Ctrl and S to save the notebook. The next time you launch this notebook, it will maintain its status and you can come down to the bottom and modify the prompt to generate different sound effects through the prompt. That is all there is to it. Enjoy!